What's up YouTube, this is Prince with ATP 101 and Apple has just released iOS 10.3.2 to the public. And if you're a jailbreaker, definitely do not update to 10.3.2. And if you're a jailbroken on 10.1.1 on your iPhone 7 and all that, don't update. But 10.3.1 is being signed right now. So if you want to be prepared if Pangu released their 10.3.1 jailbreak, you can update to 10.3. Point one at your own will. I'm not telling you what to do, but you could do whatever you want to do. Right now, this iPhone 7 Plus is on 10.1.1. Not jailbroken, but that firmware still can be jailbroken if basically Pangu doesn't release their 10.3.1 jailbreak. So there's a couple things you got to think about. Since Apple released 10.3.2 today, that could patch the 10.3.1 jailbreak that Pangu has. So if it if it patches it and this jib and this release is basically a whole bunch of security fixes, so who knows if it got patched or not. But if it patches the 10.3.1 jailbreak that Pangu has, then Pangu will basically be forced to release the 10.3.1 jailbreak that they have basically as soon as possible. So if the if it, 10.3.2 patches the jailbreak, then Pangu could just release the 10.3.1 jailbreak that it had. But if it didn't patch the 10.2, the 10.3.1 jailbreak, sorry, 10.3.1 jailbreak, then Pangu is going to have to take some time to basically put all those exploits and make and basically jailbreak 10.3.2 if you understand what I'm saying I'm, I'm messing up a little bit but basically if it didn't patch a jailbreak for 10.3.1 Pangu is gonna have to basically redo the jailbreak for 10.3.2 which would be cool it's gonna take longer for us to get it but at least we'll know we have the latest Apple firmware jailbroken and this could be the last 10 point iOS 10 firmware because remember in the next couple of weeks Apple will drop on iOS 11 beta 1 at WWDC so this could be the last iOS 10 firmware so yeah basically that's it guys if you're if you're a jailbreaker um stay on whatever firmware you're on do not update to 10.3.2 if you're on 10.3.1 that's good that's a good firmware to be on right now 10.3.1 if you're not already jailbroken on an older firmware or 10.1.1 so I might update to 10.3.1 because it's still being signed. So you have to go on. I have a link in the description. Just click on it and you could download the 10.3.1 firmware for your respective device. And if you are a jailbreaker, never do the over-the-air update. Always update using iTunes. Like literally go to iTunes, hook up your phone and update that way because that could mess up the jailbreak. So whenever you do an over-the-air update, it's, it might mess up your process while you're jailbreaking so yeah 10.3.2 is out do not update if you are if you're anticipating a jailbreak but if you don't care about jailbreak and all that you could definitely update because it it brings a lot of security improvements a lot of stuff have been patched but there's still always something out there so hopefully pango will release our 10.3.1 jailbreak or at least let us know if they're going to be working on the 10.3.2 firmware if Apple didn't patch the exploits that they have and all that kind of stuff. So it's a lot of thinking to do. Should you update to 10.3.1? Should you wait on whatever firmware? I'm not sure. I might update. I'm thinking. I'm really tempted to update to 10.3.1 right now just to be safe. And as soon as the jailbreak is released, then I could just do my jailbreak like that and also update update. I mean upload a video showing you guys how to jailbreak. So if you guys in the jailbreak, you make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification so you know when I make videos. I don't make a lot of videos right now because jailbreaking is kind of slow, but this is real good news. Apple released 10.3.2, so it's Pangu's move now. Because we've been waiting for like three weeks for Apple to release 10.3.2, so now it's Pangu turn to either release. 10.3.1 jailbreak that what we know they have because they showed it off or let us know if they're going to be waiting to jailbreak 10.3.2 because Apple didn't patch the exploit that they used so I don't know I, I, I don't really care really it would be awesome to get a 
10.2 jailbreak, but that 10.1, 10.3.1 jailbreak would be awesome too if we could get that in the next couple of days because Apple really didn't patch it or patch 10.3.2, whatever, you know what I'm saying. So it's a lot to take in, guys. So just stay wherever you are. If you really want to update to the new to a new firmware, do not update to 10.3.2. I'd rather you update to 10.3.1. That's what I might do. So it's up to you guys. It's Prince Today TP101. Rate, comment, definitely subscribe. Peace. Thanks for watching.